Hello everyone. Today's news about Ukraine come from the series I Told You So. For many, many months now, all of us, both the citizen journalists and the official journalists from multiple sources, the data analysts, the political analysts, the historians, political scientists, uh, war scholars have been saying that you cannot contain a war that no matter how many times you pretend like it has nothing to do with you, you're wrong. Well, case in point. This is not the first time. Uh, I think this is at least the second time Romania complained, and there was also a complaint from Poland, of fragments from Russian projectiles getting over the border and being found in NATO and EU territory. This particular discovery uh, came after yet another overnight attack by Russia against civilian targets. Uh, and um, this, is, this is just recent. And again, I said this before, because of Ukraine's limited capacity to protect its airspace and because international organizations refuse to declare this a real war and close the skies above Ukraine, this kind of stuff is going to happen. And no matter how many missiles and drones Ukrainians might destroy for all of their best efforts, you can't destroy them 100%. They don't just blow up into little dust particles. There are pieces of them left. They're traveling at high speed. And so, bits and pieces are going to cross the border. Here you go. So, are we just going to sit on our ass and wait until those pieces not just cross the border, but actually cross the border and hit a building or cross the border and hit a person. Is that what we're waiting for here? Because that's what it looks like to me. Another case in point. I've mentioned this since last year. A conversation has been tr taking place already in the Russian parliament, the Duma, about the status of Alaska. There are members of Russian government who are saying that U.S. ownership of Alaska is not legitimate and that Russia should take it back. And as it's been pointed out before, Russia likes towing the line. And so the longer it gets away with invading a neighbor state, the more it's going to try and push its luck and see what it can get away with, namely something like this. In this particular case, uh, Russia and China uh, carried out an exercise. Um, the two of them cooperated during this operation. And um, at some stages of the route, they came so close to where they shouldn't have been that they were accompanied by fighters from other countries. How many times do we have to tell you, public, this is not going to stay in Ukraine? And again, do we actually have to shoot down a Russian jet over Alaska? Do you guys forget how close Alaska is to Russian territory? Look at the fucking map. And another impact is diplomatic impact. Um, 13 Japanese citizens, most of whom are businessmen, have been banned from uh, visiting Russia. Personally, I don't see it as a huge problem. I mean, who the hell wants to go to Russia anyway, where they grab foreigners and hold them indefinitely on bogus charges? But... 
again, this whole thing is just, you know, it's just kindergarten. It's basic. It's so bogus. They can basically point their finger at anybody and say, nope, that one is a potential spy. Well, fine. And again, how many times, how many signs do there have to be to just stop any kind of an economic relationship with Russia? Because why do you want to deal with them? There's a big article um, on BBC site today. Um, it's... The, the title is a little bit dramatic, but it's actually really good, solid information. So what is this all about? It's about what has become known the game of drones. Um, the changing warfare and what is involved and what the capabilities are depending on the resources. So if you are interested in technology in general and military technology in particular, um, consider reading this. This doesn't just talk about different types of um, drones, missiles, bombs, etc., but um, what is involved in creating them and what sort of damage they might do. Here, for example, um, is a photograph of the town of Lipsy. Uh, where a, a guided bomb, a glide bomb, has been deployed. So, on one hand, um, this is a good technical piece, but on the other hand, I encourage everybody to remember that behind all this, there are human beings who are affected by the use of this technology. And, as mentioned many times before, well, Ukraine has been doing its damnedest to focus its fire on military target. Um, Russians have been completely unscrupulous in hitting civilians. Case in point, uh, these latest attacks I mentioned in uh, uh, one of the earlier articles, um, one of them took place in Kharkiv and uh, damaged um, a Swiss NGO office. On a positive side, um, Russia pulled its ships, not just from the Black Sea, but from the Sea of Azov. That is the small sea over there off the um, northern corner of uh, the Black Sea. What this means, if you look at the map, is that yet another portion of Crimean coast is now defenseless. They have no support from the fleet. And again, I want to ask um, troops and uh, Russian installed officials in that area, how does it feel, guys? Because make no mistake, you have been abandoned. I said this before. You are out there all by yourselves. Meanwhile, as the Olympics approach, uh, Russia whines about being banned from the Olympics to that. Uh, my response is, um, don't invade other countries, maybe? And of course, in its in infinite wisdom, uh, the um, UN uh, General Secretary Gutierrez said... Uh, that maybe there should be a ceasefire in all of the wars taking place around the world, to which I reply, have you seen what Russia does when Ukrainians stop firing at it? Yeah, maybe, I don't know, go visit Ukraine. I mean, I find it outrageous that uh, Russian and Belarusian um, athletes are allowed to participate at all under a neutral flag. That is just lame. And then there is this. Kremlin says that Russia is open to uh, talks with Ukraine while Zelensky is in power, but needs more detail. I have a question. What details do you need? The only detail that has been specified is the only one that matters. Get the fuck out of Ukraine.